The 911 with the little back jump seats, it's good for my, my boys because they're six and eight, but you know, you want to share that experience with people. Um, and, and you know, maybe your, your, your wife and another couple. The Panamera comes along and now here you go. The Panamera is showing that you can take a four-door car that's really underneath the skin, a sports car, and, and you're able to kind of mush the, the attributes together so that you're not compromising. It was true to Porsche, which is we want a car that is a true driver's car. It just happened to have a second row of seats. And when you're in the cockpit of the Panamera, you forget there's, there's, there's seats behind you. You jump inside, you quickly respond and connect with driving position, with ergo, um, everything before you even turn the key and start it up. It's um, a car that sort of, everything you throw out it, it's ready to deliver. And then again, you sort of snap out of it and realize um, you're driving a, a, a luxury car. I had a whole day at the Nürburgring with Hans Stuck. I was in a turbo, uh, the 911, he was in the Panamera and we swapped over. That was an amazing comparison between the two. I mean, that Panamera could stay with the turbo. That one out there now, I think, will be a little bit quicker than a turbo. I think race car drivers are always good judges for, for modern technology and, and, uh, and for high performance cars. And with CJ Wilson and Patrick Long, I think we have two really good types of these drivers. One more from the amateur side, one of the high end professionals, one of the definitely best sports car race drivers in the US. And I think you can trust their judgment. This is the kind of cool experience that we're having right now. We're, uh, we're driving someone else's cars on a, on a track. Yeah, it's kind of hard to complain when you tell people you have to get up early on Monday morning and come out and drive some beautiful new cars around a private facility. We don't have to pay for tires, right? It has the sports car silhouette. As the cars evolve now, I mean, I'm looking at it and it's taken on its own identity. Like now the Panamera is identifiable as a Panamera. Not only do you have the, the wing, but you have the, the, the rear lights and everything that kind of cluster that looks very, very advanced. I just I just like looking at it, man. It's like watching you go through these corners and stuff like that, seeing as much yaw as you're able to create, um, but also looking at like right over the hip and seeing that, that supercar hip that you have right over the fuel door. Yeah, it's fun that there's still so much design aspect to these cars. I mean, you see the silhouette of the 911, but you also see, like you said, so much evolution in the hips and sort of that bulk masculinity through the back that still says sports car. I love that you can hustle a four-door car this hard, sub four seconds, zero to 60, but one of the most proud attributes of these cars for me is that you can hustle the car all day long. It's not like you put down the numbers for the magazine test and uh, then you gotta go cool it off for a couple laps. I mean, this car can be punished, whether it's launch control or just hammering some laps as we're doing here. This thing hauls ass. We're here selfishly just ripping these cars around the track. We got four seats, man. Let's go pick up some buddies. Yeah, we need to share this experience. Said, uh, 8, hey guys, we got extra seats if you guys want to hop in. Is this uh, Uber Pool? <laughs> Should be on it harder than that. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're kidding me, you, <laughs> you son of a what mother, happened? you guys. How is it back there, Mr. Bell? Are you comfortable? I, it, I, I never thought I'd sit in the back of Panamera, actually. I'm following the other car just now, and looking out, it's a very elegant shape to it, it really now. It's much more, it, yeah. uh, you know, elegance and, and sort of got class. Yeah, there's few cars out there where you don't feel bad when you give uh, another couple the back seats to go to dinner. We're a couple now. We are, there's no chance there, boy. Eh? No lie, I gotta take a break. Uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotta, I gotta subtract a passenger. He's tapping out, tapping out. Well, now Liz, what do you like in a car? What are the things that you look for? Obviously, you, you like performance, you're, you know, you, you've got the bug. 
You don't like to sneak in quietly in the no, back. No, 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 no. I'm Brazilian, you know, and I like to make noise. You got to stand out a little bit, right? So, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in the back now. I was driving earlier. I can actually change the stereo from the back. So you can be, you can be a backseat DJ along with being a back, backseat passenger. Well, that's good because I don't think you're getting the steering wheel back anytime soon from <laughs> well, what I can tell. So at least you have something to, to occupy you and uh, at least give you some semblance that you're in control. I've got a chilled water and I'm just watching my wife go to work right here. It's pretty interesting. Mr. Bell, Mr. Kendall, Mr. Long, and Mrs. Wilson, I've, I've had a great time, but uh, let's see if Spike's uh, turned back to normal colors. <laughs> <laughs> Porsche just unveiled another brand new version of the 2017 Panamera. This is an exclusive look at the world's newest disruptor, coming straight from Weissach, Germany. The question is always what comes after 918 and, and what will be the next car from Porsche that is mind-blowing and, and really disruptive. And in this case now it's, it's the Panamera Turbo S e-hybrid. Many of the guys that did the 918 switched over in the Panamera project and they brought all their ideas they had in mind in the car. In the, in the second generation of the first Panamera had a hybrid. That was more about efficiency and we learned from the, from the 918 Spider that hybrid is also a, a key issue in terms of performance. And so this, this hybrid is really a, a performer and it's a fuel saver also. The number one in priority was this feeling and, and the driving modes and the behavior of the car, that it should be in the Panamera the same like the 918, with the drive mode, with the map switch and the steering wheel and, and all these things. And for sure, the assembly with the engine, the electric drivetrain or the electric motor, and then uh, a PDK, a, a double clutch gearbox, because nobody else uses a hybrid in combination with a double clutch, and all the software behind that how to shift and, and how to integrate the electric motor in this complex drivetrain. That went all over. The figures are quite impressive. The result of combining the combustion engine with the electric hybrid system is a total power of 680 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. The acceleration will be below 3.3 seconds uh, from 0 to 60 miles per hour. It will be the, the fastest luxury car in the world, and it's a hybrid. 